Hello and welcome to another budget and Lego video. Now we have another tool from Die Tech. Now they did actually say I don't really need to be doing videos on these, but they are just I have to really because they're awesome. Rather than just showing my video, I'd like to uh, talk a lot more about it. Um, and I've been looking on the website. The stuff these com this company does is fantastic. Um, you know they do some really really cool stuff, and the price is fantastic. Um, they do scopes. They do all sorts of stuff cool sensor simulators and they just do loads of stuff you have to really check out their website i'll leave all the links down below um but the beauty with this little box is this tests your obd2 plug now for example i had a car that came in recently which i did do a little video on it um that it came in it's through another garage and it was a trading car i didn't know the state of the plug i didn't know if someone's messed with it because what a lot of people are doing now they're messing with their obd2 plugs because that's how a lot of cars are being stolen so they're using fake plugs or they're doing stuff and if you plug your scan tool in and they've wired it up differently it could blow up your scan tool so you don't obviously want to avoid that but if you've got any problems with the lines or any of the pins this will actually tell you so it can lead your um, diagnosis a lot quicker and easier and it takes seconds you just plug it in turn your ignition on and automatically redo it but what i do is i plug it in turn the ignition on and then i, I wait for it to do it and i just press the button restart and i let it do it again the button flashes and it shows you if you've got any problems with pins so what i'm going to do is it's going to be a short video um i do have a car with a problem but i'm doing a separate video on that but i will show you a good car what it's supposed to be like and i'll also show you a car that has a problem with the socket and then depending on what problem you you have to take your diagnosis from there so it's going to be impossible for me to obviously show you this because you know you could have millions of different problems but at least it gives you an idea if, the, if there is anything wrong if you're going to damage your scan tool plugging it in or is your scan tool not working you know pin 16 does that light up is there any power on pin 16 well if there's no power on pin 16 it'll never work so little things like that now again depend on your car you might have a slightly different pin out if one of these um little lights is flashing you know you you can see which um which pin out is the problem on your car you know and it gives you a little diagram on the back what to actually look out for and um, what it does when you have an issue and stuff like that is it's short to uh you know uh, 12 volt short slow blinking you know reverse priority you know, just absolutely you know great little uh, tool and it's really really well built it's not it's not cheap crappy stuff do you know um, I really do. I am really starting to get into like this uh, die tech company a lot more. Um, so, like I said, they do loads and loads of stuff. Go and check them out. Let's get this in a few cars and see what happens. Like I said, it's going to be very difficult to me to actually show this because this only tells you if you've got a problem. Once you've got a problem, it could be 101 things that's causing that problem. I've got it plugged into a Mark IV Mondo, but that doesn't really matter. The ignition's on, it's plugged in, and I'm just going to press the restart. You'll see all the lights light up. It takes seconds. It's now checking. If that light stays on, boom, there we go. So I know that this OBD2 connection is good. You can see if we've got low battery. You know, we can see a, a, a few things here. Absolutely brilliant. If you have a flashing light or anything like that, you can turn it around and you can see what your problem is. And then obviously take your diagnosis from there. Um, and it's as simple as that. I mean, how easy do you want? Boom. So I'm going to show you now on a car that we have a problem with. Now I plugged it into another car that we do have an issue with. I switch my ignition on and straight away the low battery light comes on. So that basically tells you, look, obviously get that sorted first. It won't even start. Oh, we're going to start. No, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump this first, but again, boom, straight away, low battery. So it's telling you, look, get that sorted out, then let's do a retest. So let's get this jump started and uh, see what it does after that. I don't want to show you the whole thing yet, but the low battery was really handy because, you know, there's a lot of times when you might not think there's a low battery. You get into the car, turn your ignition lights on, they come in, you plug your scan tool in, and if you don't go straight for the battery pid, you could start getting some bad information. So this actually told me straight away, okay, low battery, get that sorted first. Let's just reset it. Let it go through its checks. It's going okay. Ah, 
and boom and there we go we have a slow blinking light on pin number nine so we can go over there and we can see slow blinking because we've got short to 12 volts somewhere now this is where obviously I can't show you from now on because depending on your car, depending on your pinouts, depending on what's wrong with it. I am going to be doing a video on this car shortly, but this tester can lead me in the right direction. So again, I'm going to get the pin out for this, see what pin number nine is and take my diagnosis from there. That's how quick easy it is. Like I said, the low battery light is really handy. The fact that if you've got an issue with reverse priority or someone has swapped the power around for whatever reason, you know, someone's maybe been at it, they didn't know what they're doing, some maybe did it on purpose, you can blow up a very, very expensive scan tool very, very quickly. With this, this will tell you. And it's seconds. You might as well put it in before you put your scan tool in because it's just seconds. It's like everything, there is cheaper ones out there on the market, um, but you get what you pay for at the end of the day, people. And uh, when it comes down to stuff like this, you want to know your test equipment is good. I do like this. You will be seeing this on my videos a lot more. And this video to come shortly on this motor. So there we go, people. That is it. It's going to be a nice short video, but you're going to get the idea what this little bad boy does. And like I said, just go and check out their website. They do lots and lots of stuff. People are always asking me, oh, you know, I want to start off. I, I don't have thousands of pounds to spend on tools and scopes and stuff like this. This company really seems to cater for everybody. Um, professionally, professionally made tools at very reasonable prices. So you can't really say much more than that. They do a few scopes and stuff. I don't know anything about them because I haven't actually used them. But again, the prices are very good. But again, you can't really... Um, compare you know say a I don't know a, a 500,000 pound scope to a, um, a 5,000 pound scope you know the more expensive money you get the more stuff it does but they do do scopes they do do everything so uh, check them out links will be in the description and uh, yeah I must say I'm loving it at the end of the day quick simple tests what more do you want sorted so look hope it helps please like share comment and subscribe uh, don't forget to check out my Patreon, Instagram, Facebook and all that. Links up here, links down below. But most importantly, don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one. Sorted.